right, and Happy New Year, everybody. This yeah. is our first podcast for 2011. And boy, we got a really special one here. <laughs> <laughs> I said on the last audio podcast that we were going to do something special, so this little switcher here has appeared on our video podcast before. Right. And the special part is what, Dan? What are you going to do with it this um, time? Well, I'm going to put the handrails on, which is... It's, this one's pretty much getting close to being finished, except for that and a couple other little details. If you were listening to our audio podcast, I think it was, I don't know if it was the last one, but maybe the one before that, I talked about having a disaster with, with one of the trains. Well, this is the one. Oh, when you spilled the yeah. when you spilled the stuff on it? The stuff that I spilled was soldering resin, and it was like all over, like right here, and then all over this area here. It doesn't look like anything was ever spilled on it. Yeah, that's because I got lucky and it cleaned up okay, but <laughs> really had me worried there for a little bit. The original handrail that came with the Atherin blue box is a steel wire. I changed the stanchions and used, I think they're precision scale plastic stanchions. However, what bugs me about this one is that the, um, the rail itself is a little bit thick. So I made some new ones with some brass wire and some uh, precision scale brass stanchions that I soldered together and then painted. So this is the new handrail. Oh, I see. It is a bit thinner, isn't it? Yeah, so you can see that the railing itself is, is more to scale. Than, than this. So the, so the top one is, is the, the old, one, old one, the clunky one. Yeah. Oh, I see. It's really the top rail, this top rail that you're talking about, right? Right. Because the side ones look almost the same. Well, the stanchions, yeah, th those, are, those are basically the same size. Okay, so the top rail is more to scale. I get right. it. Right. Okay. The other advantage to brass is that it's easier to, to bend if you need to, when you're fitting it onto the model, sometimes you have to bend it a little bit. And the steel wire is really hard to bend. The challenging part to this is that this model has no holes for the stanchions like some models do, basically because I filled them in, because on an SW1500 um, there really shouldn't be any any holes. They, the stanchions that they used mounted almost, not quite flush with the deck, but sort of on the deck and then slightly over the side, but there isn't, there isn't a little mounting pin on the stanchions, so we're just going to have to to glue it on. So. And a, there's a hole already drilled in the locomotive here. Did, did you have to drill that hole yourself, or did it come with um, I think there was a hole there, but I, I may have filled it and re-drilled it. And then put that in there. And now I'm going to have to put some glue on each one of these and get them to stay on. Otherwise, it'll just fall off. Plus, they're kind of floating right now. So are you going to use the old brass wire trick? Yeah, I'm going to use brass, a little piece of brass wire as an applicator for the glue to try to keep this neat. I'm just going to... Kind of do one at a time. I'm going to get the glue underneath on the bottom, and then I'm just going to push it down, trying to make sure that it's straight. Just doing one at a time and holding them in place till the glue sets. Just takes a few seconds, but don't. it seems like the more of those you get done, the easier it is to. Yeah, well, it's it becoming stay. more stable now. Right. The first one's hard because there's nothing holding it on. I can see that. See, this is why I, I can't do this kind of stuff. I just don't have the patience for it. Uh-oh. What came off? I glued my finger to the... <laughs> <laughs> he glued his finger to the rail. <laughs> it's okay. It came off. <laughs> see, I told everybody we were going to do something special for this podcast, and now they saw what it was. Dan glued his finger to the rail. <laughs> That's something I don't think I've seen yet. Yeah, well, you know, I don't do stuff like that too much, but, you know, sometimes... Only on special occasions. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now you've got both of the sides on. What's the next part here? On well, I'm going to put these small handrails on, which go... Um, there's some that go along the steps here up to the cab, and then there's another one that go, goes up the side. And these don't have any stanchions, they're just... Um, railings and again I bent these myself I, I used the original pieces as, as patterns when I was bending these and I'm thinking I can probably do this without any glue oh they have pre-drilled holes or yeah oh yeah I see oh that's pretty cool yeah so what do you just fit them in there and then put like a little drop of glue where it attaches or um I, like I said I don't think I'm gonna need to glue these really yeah, but what if the little guy falls? The little guy well, trying to get into the cab. Yeah, I don't know if an HS scale guy's got enough power to 
really make these move. Oh, he's, he's too light to put yeah. enough weight on it? Yeah. It would take a giant... <laughs> and then this one goes in. There's a little hole up at the top. And there's this little hole on the side. What if it's a really fat guy? <laughs> Actually, this... You know, this one I might glue because it looks like it might come out. Ah, see. Well, I didn't want to use any CA glue near these windows because um, the glue... Re can release vapors that'll frost the, the windows. Oh. Um, and I don't want that to happen since... Yeah, I wouldn't either. I did those windows before American Model Builders came out with a nice kit for it, so I actually hand cut each pane in this thing. Yeah, speaking of the pane. Yeah. <laughs> I originally worked on this model many years before Athern released their nicer new SW1500, but I didn't want to give up on the model. How would this compare with one of the nicer new ones? Well, once, once let's take done. a look. <laughs> oh, is that one of the nicer new ones, that WP unit? Yeah. This is, um, I mean, I think after all the detailing I've done, they're pretty comparable. Obviously, this is a WP, so some of the details and the lights are different. But um, essentially, it's the same locomotive. Yeah, we'll take a look at this while you're putting that last rail on. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, that that is pretty good. Now, of course, you know, the, the stock blue box doesn't look this good. I had to do a lot of work to, to get it into this condition. The main difference between these, um, other than road-specific road details, is the WP unit, which is the newer one, has the photo-etched radiator grill here, whereas the old blue box doesn't. It's just a molded on. It's part of the shell. Otherwise, the I think the shell is essentially the same. So, and then after the, the work I've done to it, I think it looks, you know, pretty good in comparison. I, I, there's still a few more details that need to be added, of course, but um, it's getting pretty close to being done. So what's the last thing you have to do? The railings on the back? Yeah, the railings on the back, and then I, I got, like, um, I don't know if you can even see this on camera, but I have a little length of uh, chain. Oh, yeah. You can see that. And I'll, what I'll do is I'll hang that between these the ends here. Oh, like how it is on the other one there? Yeah. And then there's stuff like the MU connection and the drop step and little things like that that I still haven't put on this model because I'd like to do that after the handrails are on. Okay, so it looks like we, you finally got the back. Yeah, I got the back there. handrails on. And uh, like I said, there's still a few more little details to, to add, but I always feel like it's getting real close to being done when I get the handrails on because that's usually like one of the last things I do when I'm making yeah. a, a diesel. So Okay. Cool. All right. Well, I guess that'll wrap it up for this video podcast. So thank everybody for uh, watching and listening. And make sure you tune into our audio podcast on the 15th of the month. And uh, make sure you tune into the next video podcast. That will be on February 1st. Yeah. And Happy New Year, everybody. Yeah, Happy thanks. New Year. Yeah, thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks.